Okay, another one is the uh, Marble Hill um, Glen Allen area, which is geologically anomalous. And uh, anomalous means strange. That's the scientific word for something that's strange. And uh, in the um, this uh, Marble Hill uh, fault system, it's sometimes called, uh, it's believed to be what is called a graben. It's a uh, part of the Earth's crust or part of a planetary surface that has subsided and or dropped. It has subsided uh, with faults on both sides. Um, and uh, actually where you can see a really good example of a graben is not on this planet but it's on Mars in what's known as the Vals Marianas which is a big uh, uh, graben, a big down drop fault system. Well the um, Marble Hill, uh, Glen Allen area is a very similar area like that, uh, having rocks that in, in essence don't belong there. And one of the things that occurs in that uh, system of, of that graben is the uh, known as the Cranister Dinosaur Site. It was a uh, site that in 1941, right near the beginning of World War II, um, there was uh, a geologist doing geologic work in the area, trying to map some of the odd geology in that part of it. It's in Bollinger County, about 120 miles south, south, uh, south, uh, southeast of uh, Saint, the St. Louis area. Uh, the people who lived in an air, part of that fault area, that Graben area, had found these bones digging a cistern. And um, they, they showed them to this geologist, his name was Dan Stewart, and uh, he recognized them as being very strange and probably being dinosaur bones. And he was suspect that there might be Mesozoic strata in that graben. And uh, anyway, he got some of the bones, took them to Rolla, and uh, the state geologist at that time, uh, Doc Bueller, and he kind of uh, looked at these and said, ah, no, those are, those are nothing but old cow bones. And um, anyway, Dan Stewart uh, believed otherwise, and he teamed up with um, Maurice Mell at the University of Missouri in Columbia, and um, but uh, World War II broke out and they kind of put this whole business on hold, but in 1945 came out with a paper on these bones and uh, this is uh, the site of the only known dinosaur in Missouri and most of the, the, uh, the rest of the Midwest. And it's associated with this geologic, geologically anomalous area of Bollinger County. And uh, there's currently some work with Field Museum uh, working on getting bones out of there. They're very difficult to get out because they've been broken up in some way like being mashed up. And what has probably happened is that the uh, clays in which the bones are embedded have been churned up by earthquake activity, by seismic activity in that area. And that area is tied in with the real foot rift. And these are all the St. Genevieve Fault, Sims Mountain Fault System, uh, the uh, Real Foot Rift, which is the really big one in the Midwest. That's the source of the big earthquakes, uh, like the 1811, 1812 New Madrid earthquake. But that, uh, that whole thing is, is all tied together in uh, a, an active seismic area, and uh, in some cases areas like the uh, uh, Marble Hill structure being rather strange, having some rather odd geology.